Hello everybody and welcome back to Creeper Comics Productions and today I'm going to be doing something pretty awesome. So I'm back in my creative world and today we're going to be trying to top my really old record of most TNT fired out of a TNT cannon. So let's hop right into it. <laughs> Okay, so sticking with the original design of it, it was a really long time ago, but I kind of remember how to do it. Probably the redstone's changed a little bit since then, but all I remember about it is that it was very big, very weird looking, and was made of iron blocks. <laughs> so to, right now we're just going to grab the supplies, um, and while I do that, um, I just want to tell you I'm using the ESB ESBE shader, I believe. It's really good, and you can get it off of mcpedl.com. Um, so, I really do like it. It's one of the best shaders, and it works super well for Windows 10. So, we need to grab some redstone things here, 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 and here. We're going to need a piston to make a... Because there are some things that I do have for this that will help quite a bit. So, we're going to make this with white wool as the redstone component and then we'll have light blue wool as our secondary components okay so the first bit that we need to do is we need to build the body of the cannon so i'm going to have to have a lot of propulsion if i want to fire well, that much tnt so we're going to model this after the railgun cannon that i made like off camera but it's over why does my alarm always go off right when i'm in the middle of a video Anyway, <laughs> so over here, um, this is the railgun cannon I made, and I'm basically going to be building this, this here, minus one dispenser on the end, and then these dispensers are just going to be stacked up like crazy. So, uh, I'm going to build that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't build it up all the way, I only did, I only did the bottom piece of it, because I don't think we need too much. Um, we might add on another, we might add on the rest of it later if it does explode first try, but that shouldn't happen. So we're going to grab some, uh, first of all, I, I do have an idea. We can use a trap door, a slab, and then a full block, um, all together to make this thing have a three wide capacity of shooting. So, first of all, we need to see how far does this water even flow. Okay, it flows to about there, so we can place our trapdoor down there. Then we can place our slab, and then we can place our block. So this will fire the TNT out like a boom. At least, at least I hope so. This is going to be kind of a trial and error, if, if you guys haven't known already. Because I, I haven't tried to build a can that shoots this much for a very long time. Like, I'm, I'm talking years, <laughs> okay? So we're going to stack up these dispensers. So that's already six, but um, I don't think I've told you guys the record to beat. It's 160 blocks of TNT. This is going to be a very hard, hard um, thing to beat. See, so yeah, anyway, next bit, we need to create, we need to create timers. So that's all hooked up, right? And then it, we want to create a timer. Three, four, five. I think that's enough time to get us the to get all the TNT dispensed. And then over here, we're going to have a little um, piston and redstone torch, um, like automatic gun thingy. This will make it. This will this will repeatedly fire the the propulsion. This will repeatedly fire the propulsion blocks, creating a- Okay, I gotta build this back a little bit. This will repeatedly fire the propulsion blocks, creating a- Creating a circuit that'll basically just blast it loads more than it should. So, once I finish building, then I'm gonna duplicate this onto both sides. So what happens is that that's, that delay comes over, and then- Here, let me, let me just show you what happens. So the delay. And then it starts spazzing out that line because the redstone torch is behind the block, which is part of the. Yeah, just, just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so now we're going to build up this here. And we're going to go like that um, to get on top of the. Oops, we don't need those. To get on top of the dispensers here. And then we've got to test to make sure it actually fires the dispenser all the way back here. Actually, wait, we can just count one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, yeah, Ridge and Travel's 15 blocks, we're all fine. So, click that button. It goes, dit, 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 and fires all that. Okay, and then we just gotta build this again. So, another speedy montage. Okay, we just gotta place the last little bit of stuff. And then, why do I keep placing it there? Okay, that, uh, now we have that, now we have that set up. So, the next thing I want to test, does this actually, does this little staircase thing actually work? Does it actually fire all the TNT? So, we're gonna load up, we're gonna load up these um, dispensers real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, so I filled up most of these dispensers. I don't think we'll need all of them right now, so there should be plenty propulsion. So this is a pretty simple build, and it should only blow up, like, I don't know, 90% of the cannon <laughs> if it does go wrong. But that's why we're testing it now. It actually worked. Did it, did it fall anywhere, or did it just fly away into the sky? Anyway, but I am surprised that that actually worked, because... I, 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 I thought that that was going to be a total flop, but no, it actually, it actually fired. And it fired really well, it fired just like I thought it would. It would go all of these, all of these at once and just fling out in that shape. So that, that actually did work. And it also would give it a little bit of height. I, I like that, okay? Now we're going to start adding more and more dispensers. So the next step is to, is to trade our trapdoor for some glass so we can build ladders. Um, so yes, this is not the s most simple build ever created in Minecraft, but it's not the most difficult either. <laughs> okay, we're gonna delay this by, we're gonna lose one tick there, and we're gonna add up one tick there. So that way we get a more refreshed signal going through. <laughs> so we don't have to... So we don't have to waste the whole- oh wait, no. Ah, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. That would that would destroy everything that this does. Anyway, testing time. There's still TNT in here, so hopefully it doesn't blow itself up. Okay, it actually worked! I am still very surprised! <laughs> this is actually working, and I have- no idea how. But I like it, so let's keep going. This is our next set of dispensers here, so this should give a little bit more oomph, and it should be able to shoot even more explosives. So let's let's see. Does this does this signal continue to carry through? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's only ten. That's not that's not bad at all. We can probably add on a third one. Let's add on a third, and then after that, it's going to be. We're gonna do some testing not on the can, because after that, that's unknown territory. So, also, um, go down to the comment section below real quick and tell me how many- how much TNT is this thing shooting at once? Just count the times that it does that weird repeating thing, and then count- and then count the- and then count the number of dispensers here. I'll give you a moment. Please do it, because I- I don't want to do math right now, I have a lot of math homework. And also that's why I haven't been uploading, it's because I actually have had absolutely ridiculous amounts of homework. Like hours, 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 hours of homework. And I actually just finished a big project. So, now let's count this up again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Still only 12. So, let's load this up and just see how it fires. So I've got to get more TNT now. And I'm also going to load up the rest of the the uh, propulsion dispensers because I 
don't want anything going wrong with those because if the proportion doesn't go, um, we're not going to have a cannon anymore. We're going to have a glorified crater. So we're going to load all these up. If this if this fires, I'm not going to be surprised, and if it doesn't fire, I'm going I'm not going to be surprised. I'm actually expecting it not to work and to work at the same time. I guess that's a little bit weird. And also this cannon, I'm not sure if it works on Java Edition, but it should as long as that repeating glitch works and there's no other major differences in Redstone. Um, other than, you know, the obvious stuff. You know, observers don't work the same way, that stuff. So, now we're gonna click the button and we're gonna see how well it fires. So there we go. Oh my gosh. That shoots so much. I kind of want to see how far it goes, so I'm going to actually lo lower the delay again on both sides just by one tick. So this should go a little bit quicker, and that way it'll have more distance, so that'll have like a second more flight time. Okay, cross your fingers that this does not break the cannon in any way, shape, or form. And then it actually hits the ground, because I do want to see how far this goes. And it, oh my gosh, it's like a shotgun. And it shoots really hard, too. What if I build a buffer? Would that hurt the cannon? No, that wouldn't hurt the cannon. That would make it shoot straight, <laughs> right? We'll see, we'll see if that buffer does anything. So I gotta make sure that this is working before I add any- No! Oh gosh. Oh gosh, okay. That actually scared me- Oh! One of them actually hit the ground that time. That's nice. Let's, um, not do that again. Oh, come on. Please blow up. Yes. Okay, so they're shooting- It's shooting up now, which isn't good. Anyway, I like it the way it is. <laughs> we're just going for, we're not going for accuracy or range, we're just going for the most fired. So let's, let's see. So we definitely have the capacity, let's see, what's the capacity? So we had 12 going up here, let me double check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes. So that would be 13 there. 14 there, and then we can probably have one more dispenser, and then we've reached our limit. So that's the maximum amount that we can... I think that's the maximum amount that we can do with this design. And I hope this beats the record. I'm actually gonna do the math. I'm gonna find out how many ticks the, um... I'm gonna find out the amount of ticks and stuff that the, uh... The repeating bit does. So we actually have like 64 shots out of this thing, if we just loaded up one stack per, anyway, per propulsion. Otherwise it's gonna break anyway, so we're going to go and ahead and see how many ticks this, how many times it clicks this redstone. So we're gonna fire the cannon. Wait. Oh, did this not go? Oh, that, that got blown up somehow. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, um, hopefully nothing's gone wrong. Okay, I think that's five times. Yes, I think that's five times. So, five times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 5 times 10, that's 50. Times 2, that's only 100. We only have 100. This isn't nearly good enough. You know what, what are we even doing here? Let's, let's just, let's expand it some more. <laughs> what are we doing complaining here? We can, we can just build, we can just build more cannon. Not a big deal. Just make it bigger. So now it would be five times. Oh, I'll, I'll count in a minute. That's wacky.
Okay, there we go. Now we've added in more. Um, this should still work. <laughs> um, hopefully it won't. Hopefully it won't initiate self-destruct until after we've beaten the record. How did I even get that record? Like, I don't know. I remember it shot 160 blocks of TNT, and that's all I remember about it. It was it had a weird comparator glitch that I used to make these things fire so many times it was ridiculous and stuff. That was only made out of iron, shot 160 blocks of TNT, and you know. Anyway, so let's do the math. How many? How much TNT will this shoot if it does successfully fire? So we had the 10. 11, 12, 13. 13 times 5 is, I have no idea. Um. 13 times 5. I have no idea. Let me look this up. Okay. No, I don't want to watch YouTube. Okay. What's 13 times 5 times 2? 130. Ah, oh, crud, we're not there yet. But anyway, let's just see if this works, actually, because if it doesn't work, then there's actually no point in even doing it, so. Cross your fingers. It did it! It actually worked, and it's actually destroying stuff over there. I know, I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do something over here. There we go, I'm gonna build a a big um white ping pong paddle. Um, with a glass handle. There we go. And then we're gonna make a piston and the middle. There we go. Whatever that is, we're gonna smash it with this can, <laughs> and then hopefully it'll hit it and not blow itself up. Because this is actually really random, it's super inaccurate, but I mean, the amount of TNT that's firing is insane. Oh, it it actually just destroyed the whole bottom bit of it and created like a leapfrog effect. That's really funky. Anyway, um... I don't know, do you think we can actually fire, fire that, fire that much? You know what, I'm gonna do a little test way over here, there's a flying machine over there, nice. Yeah, I do all my redstone everything in this, in this world, so we're going to do a quick test of, and see, um, how far you can get a TNT cannon to shoot before it initiates self-destruct. So we're going to just, so, we have plenty of propulsion for this, I think, because it's actually firing pretty well. We might add more later, but it seems to be working just fine for now, so. So that'll be our ignition here, and then I'll grab the button again instead of the piston, because we won't need that anymore. And then we're going to go like this, and then we're going to have slabs. Oh, we're going to have trap door. We're gonna simulate whatever this is. So it goes trap door, slab. Yes. Okay, so it goes trap door, slab, and then. I guess it goes trap door, slab, block, block, and then can we get another block? That's what we need to know. So we're gonna put a dispenser there. We're gonna load it up with TNT. We're going to put a delay. That's done. This button activates, so we'll have the button activate that dispenser. But it also activates this. Why did I even put that wall there? It's just obstructing everything. Um, this goes all the way over here, and then it goes into this delay. Okay. So then, if this works correctly, we should have an epic TNT cannon explosion coolness thing. So that should float down all the way over there. We're probably going to add another delay and we'll do that much because that's about this. That's the delay of our cannon. Okay, and then I actually built this a little bit wrong. 
to go back and around like that, that, that. Okay. Now let's see, does it actually shoot this TNT? If it Excuse me, could you just work for once? Okay, time to my headset just fell off. Anyway, time to rebuild this and hopefully have it not die again. Okay, so the cannon is all officially built, and the slime is intruding on it and ruining everything. But, um, we're going to fire it again after we load it up, and we're going to see, does it work, or does it just die like the last one? So, this time I, I kind of changed it a little bit so it'll actually simulate it better. So that's one. No, it doesn't. So... It, we, we can't expand it anymore that way. But what if we take off another tick of our timer? What if we take off another tick? And then we can add a repeater somewhere up this chain. So that's the last one where it... Hopefully this doesn't blow up when I test it, but it shouldn't if I did this right. Oops. So that repeater should add a one tick delay onto it, which isn't going to affect the cannon at all, and we should be able to add on three more dispensers per one of these. And then we're gonna ask Google again, how to do math. So, so this time we have what, what, what we had um we have twelve we had twelve here plus three we have fifteen times two is thirty thirty times five is one hundred and fifty we're still ten short so we need to add two to here somehow 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 but I do have an idea on how. If we could just change this repeater to something more useful, like a dispenser, then it should work just fine. But then we don't have enough signal to go through the whole cannon. So we have to extend this backwards. Um, until we get the signal that we want, which is a repeater. And then... We have to block that off so it doesn't so it doesn't so it doesn't break at all. And then we add re repeater. Then we go like this, like this, just like this. And we build up. Do repeaters work like that? I forgot. Yes, they do. That's very good for us. Wait, the repeaters work like that if there's a block above the... Yes. Okay, we're, we're in business. It actually works. So that should be... That should be fine. We're not going to run into any problems there, I don't think. Okay, so now we have reached the amount of TNT we need to get 160. So we can meet our record, but I don't think we're going to be beating it today, which is kind of sad. But we do have 160 blocks of TNT being fired out of this cannon at once. So, I'm honestly a little scared, but let's load this thing up, because it should work. Okay, there we go. There we go. So that is officially, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, wait, 12, 14, 16 cannons, two 16s, makes a 32, half a stack, 32 times 5, time to ask Google, because I said we'd ask Google. What is 32 times 5? 
160. Our calculations in my head were correct. Now we click the button and hope it doesn't end in absolute disaster. But as long as we fire the TNT out of the cannon, it should work. It should work just fine. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm scared it might not work. Anyway, we're clicking the button. Yes! Yes! We fired 160 blocks of TNT out of a TNT cannon at once. Yes! Okay. Is there any way we could make this better? Let's see. How how far down does a TNT block have to travel before it blows up? Because if if there is if there isn't a limit on that, like if there if the limit's taller than that, I could actually do something to push us right over the boundaries. And I'm sorry this video is getting so long. I mean, I I didn't think it was gonna be this long, but I'm really getting into this. I really want to. I really do want to see um, if this will work or not. So we're at um, 12. We're gonna go to 12 over here, where we want to have our dispenser. Okay, we want 12, and then this will be our dispenser here. Then what we do is we go like this, like this, and then we dump in. Uh, we only need one block of TNT because we're probably gonna self-destruct. Anyway, ready? Ooh. Okay. The next bit is is we need to test this, but with um, we need to test this, but it has to be like I have to I have to count the amount of time it takes. For this, for that, for the delay, for the for the dispensers up here to fire, and then I have to count the amount of time it takes for this to fall down. I I I doubt that it's gonna make any difference. That yes, it will work, but you know what? We're trying it just just because. We're trying it just because. Okay. Now we're going to fire this cannon. We're going to see one, two, three. Okay, it's like two seconds. So it's like two seconds. Also, I love the noise it makes when it fires. It goes. <laughs> anyway, so that's two seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Okay, so it should work, but I'm still a bit nervous. Okay. Now I've got to do one last test, just to make sure that nothing will go wrong. <laughs> We need to do the, will it, will both of these dispensers shoot out a piece of redstone test? This isn't going to be TNT because that's a little dangerous and we don't, we don't like doing dangerous tests here. Creeper Comics Productions, we are all safe. They both fire. <laughs> what if this block is a dispenser though? Now will they both fire? I hope they will, because otherwise I'm totally done. This is, okay, yes, it does work. So we can add our two final dispensers. Now we've just got to load this. Now we just got to load this behemoth one more time. <sighs> okay, if this if this works, we're able to add on another 10 TNT to our record. Every dispenser is 10 TNT. I should have figured that out a lot earlier, but my brain's dead and on the weekend mode. So here we go. So this is going. So if this works, it is going to shoot 170 blocks of TNT, and we have set a new record. Let's see if it works. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be sad. Oh my gosh! It actually worked. Passed with flying colors. Passed with flying, flying, flying colors. You know what? Let's absolutely smash the record. I have an idea. Let's destroy the record. Here we go. We're going to go like that. We're going to go like that. The, and also just... Remember, this is my own personal record. I don't know what the actual record is, but if we if this is the actual like record for most TNT ever fired out of a TNT cannon, oh boy, I'm gonna be happy. 
Now we've already beaten a record, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get risky here and just say, whatever. We're just gonna blow up the cannon at some point. So <laughs> time to absolutely smash this record if it does work. So let's just get a bunch of TNT here. So if that worked, then this should work as well because remember our signal is renewed, so it shouldn't make any difference except that we're just firing loads more TNT. So now we're firing, what, so if every dispenser is 10, 10 more TNT, we're firing about, okay, so we had 160 was these first, what is first four, now we have another one. Oh my goodness, we're going to be firing. My gosh, we're going to be firing. So that's 20. Okay, I can, 180 TNT. I think. We're going to be firing about 180 TNT now. Do the math if you don't trust me, but... Well, do the math if you do trust me as well, but... Kawabunga does. This will be probably the last shot this hand will ever make. Or not. Oh, gosh. Oh, it blew up some of the redstone. It backfired. <laughs> oh, that's funny, though. It actually fired, and it destroys so much. This is a lot of fun to shoot. If you guys want to build one of these, definite, de definitely go ahead. Restart the video and just, like, follow along with me. Because I haven't actually deleted many of the blocks, except for, like, the trial and error ones. So this actually works. I just want to keep shooting this. I actually hurt that slime. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, he looks fine. Let's shoot again, right in his face. No, get over here. Get over there. Get over there. Ah, take more damage. Oh. Oh. Wait, how did it not take any- How did the cannon not die? That TNC blew up right next to- Oh, it, it took a little bit of damage. Done by these dispensers. It just took a while to show. Okay. Anyway. So I'm guessing I'm going to call that for a video, you guys. If you guys want to see me try to sub try to beat the record again, the new record is 170 blocks of TNT out of one cannon. See if you guys can beat it and don't use my design and just, you know, make it taller. Because that doesn't count. <laughs> try to make your own design. Anyway. So thank you all. Thank you all for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna record another video and um I'm gonna record another video later that should be up, um that should be up this evening. Um, this one should be up this afternoon. Um, but yes, this I'm gonna call that for this video. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what we're of one of the items that we're gonna go over. The mega door. And you guys are gonna hate me for this. Yes, I did cut it right, right when it, right when I pressed the, right when I pressed the pressure plate. But yes, thank you, thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time on Creeper Comics Productions. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.